Nootropics are substances that enhance learning and memory while protecting and preventing the disruption of memory in the brain. When you want to make a supplement to put on the market, I can literally go in my kitchen right now, get some capsules, fill them up with whatever I want, slap Dr. Mike's supplement on the label, and sell them to GNC or online or anywhere. No one has to check it. Cheers. So I've been taking these for a few weeks now. They are known as nootropics or smart drugs. They're supposed to boost my memory, they're supposed to help me concentrate better, and they're supposed to make me more productive. In this formula in particular, there's two different kinds. There is a gold pill. The gold formula has a nootropic known as Nupept that was discovered in the 80s in Russia. And there is a silver pill. In the silver pill, there's something called paracetam. Paracetam is the original nootropic that was discovered in the 1970s in Belgium. And you're supposed to alternate every day between the two. But it's important to know that nootropics, at least in the US, are not regulated by the FDA, they are neuroscience research chemicals. There are people in the United States who take them, there are companies in the United States that manufacture them. The biggest question is, however, do they actually work? But before we get to that, let's go talk to Dr. Mike. All right, so Dr. Mike, off the bat, what do you think about nootropics or smart drugs? I think that uh, there is some potential there. I think that people get overly excited about these medications because Everybody wants a shortcut. Everybody wants a quick way to be smarter, do a little bit better in their jobs, in their schooling. And it's understandable because the, the environment right now is so competitive wherever you go. What is the significance of having something be approved by the FDA? <sighs> well, supplements are never going to be approved by the FDA. And I think that's an issue of funding. If they had to go and test every supplement out there, there's a lot of lobbying groups that are pressuring them to not do that. But look, if you're gonna put something in your body that has claims behind it of making you smarter, focus, whatever it may be, you wanna know that that's the truth. And a lot of these claims that some of these companies are making, they go past that. Dr. Mike definitely gave me a few things to think about, but I wanted to meet the people actually making these supplements. So I decided to go to San Francisco. That's kind of my morning stack. I probably do in a day about three or four handfuls like this at least. My name is Eric Matzner. I'm a biohacker and nootropics entrepreneur. We're here in San Francisco at my apartment. So these are my different supplements. This is my company, Nutro. The new bottle. When you take a Neutro Gold or Silver Plus, it primes your brain for learning and memory formation by lowering the electrical threshold it takes to form a memory in your AMPA and NMDA receptors. Does taking nootropics make a person smarter? That's a tricky question. It depends on what you define as smarter. They are not the limitless pill. There is no automatic Bradley Cooper learning blah, blah, blah right away and trading on the stock market and becoming a millionaire senator. Has taking nootropics made you smarter? Uh, I would I would think that most people that know me would say yes. Because when I first started taking them and I was like learning to type faster and doing all these things, people in my office were coming up to me and saying, hey, what are you doing? I want some of what you have and uh, it not being easy to be like, this is a brand I trust, this is a good formula. Uh, and so I set out to make it the best formula, not just for myself, but for others. I came across the internet, uh, some of the, when I was looking for memory and learning and enhancing substances, a, a wide, deep body of information with people discussing, sourcing, all these things. But back then it was kind of like mylar bags and you didn't know where it was coming from and you weren't sure if you could trust it. And I got into that world and you, you can see where people are discussing what they take, what's your favorite stack, all these kind of things. And that led me down this deep rabbit hole where I went from taking very few things to you can see very many things now. We live in a world where there is no category for the enhancement or even for pretty much anything for healthy people. All of our science, all of our medicine, all of our stuff is for people who are below the baseline. And so if you're healthy, you don't go to the doctor and necessarily get stuff. 
which maybe you should. Maybe that's why supplements are uh, worthwhile. I am not a doctor. Neutros are not FDA regulated, approved. They're neuroscience research chemicals for consenting adults. While Eric only sells one product, other companies like Human sell a range of products for brain power. Welcome to our San Francisco headquarters. So here's a kind of grab bag of nootropics. So there's Go Cubes, a mental stamina, resilience, working memory. This literally came off the production line last week. And what, I mean, what is the goal here? Is it to be like superhuman or? Yeah, why, why not? I, I guess like the question is why not? Human is currently experimenting with a compound known as ketones and studying how it can improve physical and cognitive performance. It's a really exciting field and I'm really optimistic that more results are going to be coming out like even in the next sort of six months or so. Ketones are the kind of nature's answer to keeping us going and our brains going when we're starving because it wouldn't be great if our like forefathers had just kind of like killed over whenever there was like a shortage of a shortage of food. We did an experiment using the human ketone ester in rats and we made them solve a maze puzzle every day for 7 days. And so the rats were solving the maze faster and making less errors when they were taking the ketone ester. So that's pretty pretty promising. There's definitely a lot of things still to explore, not only just for acute performance but also for kind of brain wellness going forwards. But not everything this company has produced has been as promising. Uh, last year you commissioned a study on one of your products and I, um, from what I read, one of the results was that um, it wasn't more effective than caffeine. Was that, is that correct? Sure, yeah, that's, uh, that's a, it's, it's a good summary. So it was not a flattering result, you know, to, to put it bluntly. But I think ultimately, like I think we're all just searching for the truth. Um, Consumers are smart, users are smart. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I mean, I think you might be able to rip someone off one time, two times, but um, you know, we've been in business for almost four years now. What would you say to anybody who is skeptical of the entire concept of nootropics or smart drugs? I would say be skeptical, but read the literature. And I think that uh, if you actually dive into the corpus of literature, I think you'll be surprised that there's actually some diamonds in the rough, and I think that's what we've gravitated and focused on. Eric suggested that I get an EEG, and that is essentially a brain scan that monitors activity in your brain. And full disclosure, this is by no means foolproof. The idea is, is that I would take a scan before taking nootropics and one after, and then see if there was a difference. Yeah, just yeah. take it and like lift okay. up your tongue. Okay. It's gonna be a little bitter probably, which is why we put it through these in capsules. Okay. <laughs> so, Harry, as a doctor, sure. do you take nootropics? I do, I certainly have experimented with them. I, I started probably a couple decades ago, and I used them almost on a regular basis and I really like them like I find that um, you know it's not that I have no performance without them but in general it makes my brain function I think a little bit better it makes my day a little bit smoother how do you feel I feel fine I can't tell if I feel different to be honest I got the EEG results back and it turns out that there was a difference in my brain activity after taking a dose of nootropics but to understand what this actually means Let's go to Dr. Mike. Dr. Mike, what do these results mean? To put it simply, they don't mean anything. And I'll explain to you why. In order to prove that anything works, whether you're talking about a treatment, a supplement, a surgery, first of all, you need to have a big sample size, not just one person. Doing a test on one person, there's so many inaccuracies, inaccuracies there's so many things that can complicate the results. So it's too complicated to give you a true answer. So it's very easy uh, in a test like this to take some findings in a specific moment of time, show you some disorganization like you see in the pre-section, and then show you great organization in the post-section and say, look, this is the way that our supplements work and this is why they're awesome. And even if you get a result like this, which shows some improvement, I guess, it's not agreed upon by everybody to be accurate. Okay. Thanks, Dr. Mike. So since supplements like these are not regulated by the FDA, they are unlikely to undergo a major clinical trial that is recognized widely in the medical community. But there are people who swear by these, and I met a few of them. As for me, I took Neutro for a month. I didn't take it scientifically. I may have missed a few pills here and there, but I did not feel any different. But I'll keep an open mind. 